All right, man, I'm back, man. As I said, I had to clean up a little bit. But album review. No, first of all, I don't know when this video or the other video, the uh, video to Chief Keep and King Louie squash their beef go upload because I'm trying to upload it to YouTube. But they saying like, oh, error upload or some dumb shit like that. So whenever this come out, today is December the 10th, 2014, 10.05 p.m. So whenever you see the review, just know I think I'm the second person on YouTube to actually do the video. But it won't upload because of fucking this iPhone and whatever bullshit YouTube is doing. Anyway, album review, Charlie XCX with uh, Sucker. It's... um. Her second album, I do believe, um, not of her whole catalog, but I think her second album to uh, be released in the States. This album is releasing in the States first and then in the UK in January. Uh, she from the UK, you know, she a pop artist, you know what I mean? She only 22 years old. And I didn't know that. Like, I was like, yo, she kind of young. Like, damn, like, that shit shocked the fuck out of me. But, you know, of course, y'all yeah, know who she is. Uh, she was on a fancy joint. Um... She got a song out uh, that came out in the summer and it was on some type of uh, in some type of movie called Boom Clap. It was a summer number one hit. I think that was her first actual top ten record of her solo career, I guess. But yeah, this is her second album, her first joint, True Romance. Um, it's actually on my phone. I never really, I didn't really, I enjoyed it, but I didn't ever review it. You know what I'm saying? But this joint got 13 um, tracks, um, no features. You know, she did a lot of writing, production on it. It's like uh, 1990s alternative rock, like mixed with a little 1960s girl group, classic punk. Um, a lot of familiar sounds in this, you know, EDM, um, a lot of synths, squiggles, um, video game noises and a couple tracks. But basically just a fun record, a fun rebellion type party type i don't give a fuck fuck you i'm gonna do me type album you know what i mean um so basically that's how i can describe it like i enjoyed the whole project because i didn't know like how it was gonna feel because she was cool on fancy you know what i mean and i did like her it's one joint um on her last album true romance i think it's called you that shit go dumb so i'm like all right you know another pop album this year for pop albums Let's keep it real. They've been murdering shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, you know, her shit just dropped. Uh, Jesse J shit came out, but it was like, uh, you know, you had, uh, um, what's her name? Lena Del Rey earlier this year and things of that nature. So I was wondering what the album's going to sound like. But I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Um, for whatever it's worth. Um, yeah, let's get into it. The first track, Sucker, you know, that was just a great record. It's like a punch you in a stomach type record. You know what I mean? I like it, like the beat, you know, the, the hook, the catchiness of it. I thought it was pretty dope, you know what I mean? I fuck with it. Um, break the rules, to me that's like on some rebel type shit, you know what I mean? I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, the the lyrics are awesome if you really listen to the lyrics. It's just a great, you know, record. Um, London Queen to me is unique. It, it has a pop sound to it, but at the same time it has that, you can hear the rock influences in a lot of these songs, and that song definitely stood out to me. And I was like, oh, shit, like, she doing her thing. I thought I was going to get bored with this because at the same time, like I said, I don't really listen to a lot of pop music, you know, to break down song for song because I'm not really in that genre like that. But at the same time, I enjoyed it. Uh, Breakup, number four. Um, it got some harsh lyrics in there if you really listen to it. You know, I'm taking it from the point that, you know, she breaking up with a boyfriend, giving reasons why um, things happen. And that song kind of touched me in a way where it's like, oh, shit, like, Damn, she's not tripping off the breakup if you listen closely, but it's just like, this is why we're breaking up. So it is what it is. Um, Gold Coins, number five, um, about flashy lifestyle. I like the um, video game noises in that record. It reminded me of, um, fuck, what is her name? Um, I, bought, I think I bought her album. I can't think of her name, but I'll put it in the description whenever this video uploads. But she reminded me of her a lot. Um, also, Lord and Charlie XCX gets a lot of competitive comparisons where they try to pit each other, you know, next to each other and try to say who's better. But she sounds like her a little bit, but definitely, you know what I mean? She stands out on her own and Lord does her own thing. You know, um, you could just tell that Charlie, at least to me, reminds me of Madonna a little bit. 
But moving on to Boom Clap, you know, that was a summer hit, great pop song. You know, I give it three checks, so, just like the first record on this album. A great pop record, you know what I mean? Just do what you do, you know, having fun. It is what it is. I like the booms in that record, too. That shit dope. Um, number seven, Doing It. It gave me, a, that's the song that gave me the Madonna vibe. Um, it's a catchy song. You know, Take a Chance. I think she references drugs in that record because back... I read an interview, I think she did with Rolling Stone or somebody where she was just, in her younger days, drugs, alcohol, party lifestyle, you know what I mean? She didn't really care about the industry or what they thought of her, so, you know what I mean? I think that's where this whole album, you know, the theme of it was like, well, you know, fuck you, you didn't like me then, but you like me now because I have a pop song and I was on a number one hit and things of that nature, so you definitely get that vibe throughout this album. Um, Body of Mind, um, definitely a just basically saying have a great time. You know what I'm saying? Um, number eight, which that is Body of Mind, just having a great time, you know, I, that's what I got from it. Um, also, that song, I think, has a drug reverence. Yeah, so moving on to Famous. Now, that's a fucking great record, such a fun party record, like, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was just dope. You know, I had no problem with it. Um, the production was on point, her vocals, background ad-libs, everything was on point with that. Uh, hanging Around, just want to get away, get faded, live life, you know, enjoy it, you know. Um, and that's basically it, you know. It's not more to it. That's the whole vibe of the album, you know, just being me and doing what I want to do and enjoying life, and this is me, you know. So I definitely love that record. Uh, Die Tonight, you could say that's like a prom anthem. So for, you know, a lot of teenagers out there, this probably be their prom anthem, you know, next year or whatever, whatever. And, yeah, storytelling, living life, enjoying the night, very catchy hook. So I like that record. Caught in the Middle, um, that song was kind of touching in a way, you know, living and learning, love lessons, um, great hook, I enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying, our hearts got caught in the middle, so it's just like, you could take it for the good or the bad, you know, it's a lesson learned in that song, and I definitely appreciate it for that. Um, the last track, Nidra Love, you can definitely tell she's paying homage to girl groups from back in the day. To sum it up in one way, it's simply a lovely track, you know what I mean, a, a great production, Awesome vocals. She did, she did her thing with this album, man. I loved it all the way through. I mean, I won't say love, but like all the way through. It's an album you could put on from 1 to 13 and play it all the way through. At least I did. I actually got through listening to it an hour ago, you know, so I didn't heard it three times. And across the boards, 10 out of 10, great pop record. Um, all 13 songs I fuck with. Production was all on point. She definitely did her thing with this album. And if you go and look at uh, reviews, not reviews, but, you know, um, interviews, you know how Rolling Stone interview about the album and people write about the album. It's a great fucking record. Like, I won't even sit there and lie and bullshit. You know, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I thought it would be some sappy type of ass, you know, on some TS type shit. But she's her own person. She has her own lane. And definitely, I think now the music industry understands who Charlie XCX is. And she has the freedom to do what she wants. You know, she can be in the categories with, you know, the pop world for, you know, whoever is the number one person in that genre, but she definitely has a voice now. She's still young. She's only 22, so you got to figure that, you know, she still got some more learning, some more growing, maturing to do, and I definitely feel like, you know, by the time her third record come out, she will uh, set the standards for, you know, what pop music is to take a control of what you want it to be. Not, oh, we got to go in there and make a, a number one record. We got to go in there and make this type of record. She did, went in there, and everything was basically organic. So that's the thing I like. And she did a lot of writing on this project. She got with the right producers. And if you don't really like pop music, I mean, it is what it is. But I suggest you check this out. I will be supporting the album when it drops on the 16th. I will be buying the copies. You know what I mean? I think it's dope. I think I probably done bought more different genre music this year than rap music. I don't know if I'm correct, but I got to go through. So that's why it's like with the t top 10 list or whatever. I may not even do that shit this year because it's like music was born in 2014. But far as other genres, they, they you know, did their thing. I don't really care about sales, but far as body of work. I've listened to this front to back three times. I can't pick one rap album other than Preem that dropped. Um, Run of Jewels, Pinata. Um, and maybe one more joint that I listen to all the way through. A lot of rap albums I couldn't do that with. So shout out to Charlie XCX. Um, she definitely got a banger right here. And yeah, man, y'all check it out for yourself and see if y'all like it. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe. So whenever I can pick this video up, 
It'll be up, and I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'm out.